Hey guys, uh, I picked up a new music game that came out. Uh, are you surprised? Probably not. And I picked up DJ Hero. Now, to be honest, I was a bit skeptical about this game just because, you know, it's a new type of music game and I didn't know, you know, how cool it would be, how fun it would be. Um, and I'm not the hugest hip hop fan. I do like hip hop, but, you know, I wouldn't say um, I know everything, and trust me, I don't. But I actually went to Best Buy, tried it out, and I loved it. Uh, it's such a cool game. Uh, I don't know how I could have been skeptical because this is just the next big thing, and it's awesome. So uh, what makes this game cool, uh, for the most part, is the music. I mean, it's a lot of different uh, mixtures. You're not just going to get a straight hip-hop hip-hop. Well, actually, no, there is. What am I talking about? But it, it's... It's a hip-hop game, but there's also a lot of different type of music in here. You know, you've got some rock in here. You got Foo Fighters, Monkey Wrench. You got Motorhead, Ace of Spades. You got um, uh, what else is there? Beastie Boys, Sabotage, Queen, We Will Rock You, The Killers, Somebody Told Me, uh, David Bowie, Let's Dance, uh, Tears for Fears, Shout. You know, you get cool stuff like that, but then you also get some big hits um, from you know the '90s and '80s, like I mentioned before, Tears for Fears, Shout. Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby, MC Hammer, You Can't Touch This, um, Paul Abdul, Straight Up, uh, and stuff like that, uh, Jackson 5, I Want You Back, and then also you get um, some great hip-hop, you get some Tupac, All Eyes On Me, you get um, what's it Eminem, My Name Is, Jay-Z, Izzo, uh, Young MC, Bust The Move, which I love. Um, and so forth. I mean, there's just, just a lot of good stuff. Uh, Black Eyed Peas. You get some great stuff. And it's just the, the mixes that are on this album, I mean on this album, on this game, are so great. Like when you play, you're going to be like, yo, I kind of I kind of want this on a CD. It's just so ridiculous. Like stuff you wouldn't expect. Like for example, there's a Vanilla Ice and MC Hammer mix, which is great. There's also a Vanilla Ice and Paula Abdul mix, which I love. Eminem and Jay-Z is just Rihanna and the Killers. Just really, really good stuff. So, can't go wrong with the music in this game. And also, the best thing about this game is the controller. And here you go. It's a turntable. Now, um, basically, you got three buttons here. You know, similar to Guitar Hero. And then you have this little fader right here which is probably going to be the most challenging part because when you play some of the songs like it'll have you go here like you have to turn it here and then you have to hit a button at the same time or sometimes both like it'll have you then you have to go like this or or you have to get in the middle it's just it, it gets a little getting used to but once you get it it'll just it's, it's crazy and then here is the uh this button right here, when you hit it, it's like the Euphoria button. It's like when you star power, basically, when you tilt your guitar. You hit that, and there's this little thing right here, too, where if you get the red button, there's like a, on the red color, when this a long uh, blaze of red light comes on, you kind of hit the red button, and you kind of spin this little thing, and you'll get um, different sound effects, like Flavor Flav and stuff, which is really cool. And then, obviously, there's scratching, so, like, you'll get, like, a green, and it'll have, a, like, an up and down symbol and you just hold the button and you spin it like this it's so much fun people I'm telling you when you like when let's say when you get used to it and you play a song and you get everything right let me tell you there's no cooler feeling it's like the first time you do really well in Guitar Hero you just feel like a badass you feel like a badass when you get the songs on this it's an incredible feeling it's really really cool uh, I'm gonna have to say it guys, this thing is pretty hard. Um, you, I, I would start off with medium, because medium, you pretty much get um, a little bit of, not everything, but you get the scratching, you get the fader, and stuff like that. And then hard, the fader becomes a little bit more difficult, and when you start spinning, there'll be an arrow which will say up, so you have to spin up. Not just like this, you just have to go up or down so it, it can get a little difficult and there's a lot of buttons start showing up so 
the first few songs you'll be you'll probably be able to do hard with not, without a problem, but let me tell you, it gets hard as hell. This is much harder than Guitar Hero. Maybe because I've been playing Guitar Hero longer and I and I've been and I know how to play guitar, but this is pretty challenging, so definitely be on the lookout for that. For story mode, there's really no story. You just do career, and you just there's different um, venues, and you pick one, and then they, they give you a mix of songs. And you got to beat those songs, and when you beat the songs, you, you get stars, and those stars will give you unlocking characters, unlocking set lists, unlocking outfits for the characters, unlocking um, different turntables, headphones, stuff like that, and. Um, You don't, you don't create a character in this game, which kind of sucks, because I'm big into create a character. There's not in this game, but it's it's all good. I, I'm sure they'll do it the next time around, because, you know, they're just testing this out for the first, you know, for the first game. Super fun. There's um, a set list where you can plug in the guitar and play guitar and DJs, you know, with two people. Or if you don't have two people, you can pick whichever one you want to do. You can do guitar and the computer will do the DJing or vice versa so that is really really cool um, there's multiplayer I think uh, it's just kinda head um, face off and you guys are pretty much be, will be playing the same part it's just who does better uh, I know a lot of people are disappointed with that but you know it's the first game so you know you can't really expect too much there, there's also downloadable content I believe they've already at least released two tracks uh, so that's cool so it's good to know that there'll be future songs, and that is great for future, you know, down the road, you'll be able to keep this game and not feel like you gotta trade it in. So that's good for longevity. Um, when it comes down to it, I gotta give this a 5. This game is so sick. Um, I should, I definitely suggest you guys give it a shot. Go to Best Buy or GameStop and test it out. Uh, I have no doubt that you will love this with one play. Uh, it's sick. It's it's $120, but it's worth it because you're getting this sick-ass control, um, which obviously you have to have, and it's, it's just worth it. You know, it's just that's how that's how it is. You know, when you buy Guitar Hero and Rock Band, you gotta buy the bundles. You gotta get the instruments. You gotta do it with this. Really, really, really sick. Really fun game. My girlfriend actually has been playing this a lot, and she loves it. So for you guys out there who have girlfriends that uh, are not really big into video games, uh, they will probably see this and want to test it out and will probably like it. Um, they won't have a problem on medium, because my girlfriend played it on medium, and she doesn't have a problem with it. So uh, that's another great reason to get this game, because get your girlfriend involved. It'll be awesome. Uh, yeah, basically, buy this game. It's a five-star game. It is awesome. This is the future of music games, and um, I'm, I can't wait to see DJ Hero 2. I'm sure it'll just improve on everything. Uh, the only flaw, like I said, no career mode, basically. Uh, n no creative character, but that I'm sure will um, they'll fix. And can't complain about the songs, so that's awesome. So pick this game up. It's awesome. Five stars. So we have a piece of yourself.